Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Fully Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. I'm your host, Andrew Ariano. With me, as always, is Grant Fierro and Reef Willer. Today's guest is the co-founder of Shieldless Magazine, Nick Shields. Uh, hey, how was everyone's week this week? Solid. We, <laughs> we do any skateboarding? And it's yeah. skateboarding. Oh, oh yeah. Do, but... Oh yeah. Would you would you go skate, Grant? Would you would you hit up? Um I actually skated a skate park on Sunday, a new park like here in LA and Glendale. Um I don't end up at the skate parks too often on the weekend, but we did this weekend. That was fun. Oh, park sick. So oh, you guys try to take advantage of the streets? Usually in the streets on the weekend, but yeah. But we just ended up hanging out there on Sunday and it was super fun. So it was sick. Mm. Reef, did you do any skating? Yeah, I skated uh, the skate park like 10 minutes from uh, my town. It's in the next town over. I got to skate that for a little bit. Actually, for a while. It was surprising because it was hot, but it was fun. Damn, we're all just skating no. skate parks. Nick, can you break the trend? <laughs> no. Fuck no. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Only skate parks. Yeah, I don't well. have time for <laughs> streets. I'm, I'm it's fun to go to a park and just get tricks. Yeah. yeah. I skate by myself a lot, so I just like go to the park and do as much as I can. Oh. Uh, I, I did go in the streets on Saturday, though. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Thank, <laughs> thanks, th- thanks for rectifying the podcast. Our stock was going like this; it was all fucked up. <laughs> Thank no, you. We're in the okay, we had Saturday. we had some street skating. Uh, did you get a clip? No, I didn't film anything. Just kind of, we kind of just skated like fun little spots. That's sick. Are you? Yeah, film- which is are you, always. Are you filming anything yeah. right now? Um, kind of. Kind of. Right. Not just like here and there filming, but just out skating. Did you hear that, Nick? That's his way of saying, hell yeah, I'm stacking mad clips. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to wait and see the footage. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> Bangers. Well, let's take a trip over there to OKC. Oklahoma City honored their favorite son, uh, you know, Kyle Walker. It was a Kyle Walker Day, July 21st. Um, you know, I didn't really care about Jack Olson, you know, before. <laughs> let, me tell you some, let me tell you some shit about Jack Olson. That guy's fucking dope as hell. And I, and let's just say I've been sleeping on him for a very long time. Did you guys check Wait, out what that? what got you? No. What, oh, what, what made me? Was a little skate park edit that got you amped on him? No, I didn't really. I always ignored him. I saw him. I was like, who the fuck is that? Where's Kyle? Where the, who the fuck is that? Where's Robbie? Who the fuck is that? Where's Ashad? Like, I don't have time for that bullshit. Where's Boosnitz? Like, get that little kid out of here. But I was like, oh, maybe he put his amp, I mean, his amp pants away, you know, now that he's pro. I'm like. Oh shit! Damn, yeah. let me pay more attention. But <laughs> he, I think it's just uh, his style is. Look, I mean no disrespect. It's kind of sloppy, but I like it. He, dude, he could skate rails real good. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. He he skates, that switch yeah. Smith grind he did on that rail was like okay, my bad. I mean, Grant, it's a park yeah. rail. I mean, you you better be able to switch Smith that shit, or Jim's giving you a call. It says you better look for a different home. <laughs> 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 he is probably like. Like, I feel like we see more barley grind. Like, barley grind is a trick that you see people do down rails now. And that's kind of like he was one of the dudes that kind of made that happen. Well, like there was he a... barley grinded a double kink probably before anybody. Yeah, yeah that was so fun. Oh, okay. It was so messed up. Well, I mean, there's like some Kyle Walker Day. Sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Anyways, Kyle Walker. Yeah, Kyle's my bad. <laughs> yeah, Kyle. It was Kyle's day where we were talking about Jack Olsen. I couldn't help myself. Clive Dixon showed up. You know, didn't uh, oh, yeah, didn't, that was dope. Yeah. yeah, that's good. You know, have some other guys show up, show some, some support. Is he from there? Is that why he was there? I think so. Yeah, uh, or maybe oh, yeah. Reef yeah. shook his bit? head. What happened, Reef? What happened? Uh, I thought I thought Clive was from Florida. In his nine club, he talked about he was from Florida, uh, but maybe uh, I might be I might be wrong. You could yeah. be right that he's from there, but I f- I think maybe he spent some time in Oklahoma. Because if I could be wrong, but I think when. Oklahoma had what they have like a tornado or something gnarly a couple years ago. And there's those Oklahomies boards. Okay. Do you remember seeing those? And I think Clive had something to do with that. So mm. I don't know. Maybe he spent some time there or something. Oh, but. okay. Well, he's no stranger to OKC. Um, mm-hmm. you know when they when they inducted uh, Call Walker Day, I had to go way back back because this is the third annual year. Uh, I did not know that OKC legend BMX Matt Hoffman spoke at Call Walker Day. <laughs> Do you know what? Who? I didn't know that either. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fucking rad, right? Like, I, I, I <laughs> yeah, was, that's pretty I'll, sick. Yeah, it's real sick. Having someone from a different discipline. Let me just go ahead and say hi. My name is Matt Hoffman. Do you not remember the nine hundred <laughs> no hander bitch? 
<laughs> wait, well, I remember. I know this dude's name, but like, why are all you guys so familiar with him? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh okay. You see, generation well, gap here. Slow. Down. I know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what, what, what did he do? He was okay. huge okay. for BMX yeah. back yeah. in the day. He is huge. The only reason I, I think yeah, I huge. can only speak why I can know him is X Games, and also. Mm -hmm. Uh, back in the day, before you ever picked up a piece of wood, probably before you were even born, Grant, is that there were these video games called Tony Hawk Pro Skater. But they also had a Matt, a Matt Hoffman Pro BMX and a Kelly Slater Pro Surfer. Uh, yeah. So they were able to uh, make their noble names. You're like, I didn't know who the fuck Kelly Slater was. I just know he has a video game. I never played that shit, but I know who he was. <laughs> that game was hard. Uh, oh, okay. It was hard. I okay. played it too. <laughs> It was hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you? How many of these Kyle Walker days are they gonna do? Like twenty seventh annual Kyle Walker day. Dude, I run it till he retires. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Forever. They'll, they'll probably still and run they it. Stop. They, no, they'll probably still run it. Hey, the mayor's. He gave him the plaque and everything. If Matt Hoffman spoke, <laughs> Kyle Walker That's day. Tight, they might. A skateboarder like that. You know they have like random days in the calendar like columbus day and um martin luther king day kyle walker will be on the those calendar. are like random but no they're random to me do you do, have you ever met christopher columbus <laughs> that's actually like a controversial one but martin luther king day i think most people i don't know if most people would use the word random look but. you're deviating from yeah. my point here and you seem to be really argumentative with me so i'm getting ready to kick you out of the podcast because you're being too lippy today I'm saying in a calendar, you will see Kyle Walker in the next five years. <laughs> no way. Uh, I mean, no. Probably not, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I'm just here to be entertaining. I'm not here to make. I'm not here to make sense. Maybe calendars <laughs> in Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, I got so excited about Kyle Walker Day. Uh, did you guys want to? Nick, did you? Were you ready to talk about Shitless Mag, or did you want to? You want to like uh, want to run through some other topics? Talk. Let's run through some topics. Okay, we'll get yeah. there. Well, we'll get there. All right. Yeah, I like. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to warm you up here, butter you up real good. Yeah. Trying to treat you. <laughs> trying to treat you like a ledge. Uh, <laughs> oh my. Okay, Grant. I'm gonna need you What's to handle. I, I really want to get your thoughts on this because this burned my eyebrows. I mean, burn my eyeballs, but my eyebrows too. <laughs> Max McLaughlin on his uh, Hall of Meat. Oh, I'm gonna oh, be I'm honest with you. I saw Hollow Meat broken arm, and I did not click on it. Oh, I, I, I can watch it right now, but those things. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of watching people get smoked. Okay, ladies and yeah. gentlemen, just for the listeners on the podcast, I kind of, I kind of blew that one because I added broken arm, and <laughs> I put, I, I gave, I give Grant the topic list, and now he doesn't. He, he said he didn't want to watch it. Cause I'll, I'll watch it right now. Okay, I like to get a live reaction. Sure, let's uh. Let's all just a little nervous. Okay. Are you checking it out now? Did you pop it up? Yeah, the Thrasher's pile, you know, it's reading. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. He's on the roof. God. Uh oh. <laughs> this is gonna oh, be Yeah, that was bad. It <laughs> was really bad. <laughs> uh is it Oh <laughs> okay, that's yeah. getting minimized. I don't want to. Get yeah. Anyway. Okay, because I was gonna say you handled it, it better than bad. I thought. And then I, he stood up, and then his, no, it got way it worse. Like, it got way he worse. He had like a noodle on his arm. Yeah. Right when you see Dude, a noodle. Was... Right when you see a noodle. I've arm. never seen a broken arm like that. Yeah, it's pretty bad. My father's that an was... RN. Dad, my dad's here, ladies and gentlemen. Dad, have you ever seen a a, a broken arm to the point where it's like it's it's like it turned to a noodle? Probably. Have you seen a compound factor where the bone's sticking out of the arm? Did you? Oh, okay. Did you did you handle that well or did you cry? You didn't cry? Okay. Mm, all right. I can't. All right. What was your reaction to watching, watching oh this Oh, my happen, God. Dude? Well, that's why I wanted to get your reaction because it's gross to me. Like, by the way, I, I don't, I don't want to be like critical here because the description says that max max wrist made the ultimate sacrifice it looked like his arm to me but you know whatever he broke something i'm not here to say oh that's the that's the femur oh that's the knee who cares the man broke a bone and he's in pain <laughs> uh it's just gnarly to me like when you Sorry. skate stuff like that like i because he ollied on an awning like didn't look like it was gonna work out in the beginning to me but hey you know what most skateboarding 
most skateboarding wasn't meant to be. You're not supposed. You're not meant to grind on handrails on a piece of wood and a piece of metal on your trucks. But I, that's, dude, that yeah, that would have been pretty nuts. Cause he, I mean, he was already on a roof. Like he was so high up. But alling on, I wonder if he was gonna like. Yeah, I want to see the angle he goes. Oh, he's kind of just like roll straight across that thing, I guess. It, but he you know what? Maybe he was just warming up because he just looked like he was going to ollie on and just ride, ride off, jump off. Yeah. Yeah. Nick, did you see yeah. the the broken arm? No, I, I oh. hate watching that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I wouldn't watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> Grant's reaction was enough. Yeah. Good yeah. on that. Because then you start thinking about like, oh, that could happen to me. Like, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Reef, are you next time I get on a roof, I'm gonna be like I'm breaking my arm. <laughs> Reef, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Reef, what are your thoughts on the Hall of Meats? Do you think it's a you think it's a great segment that you just can't wait to get enough of or you just I mean I'm not I'm not going out to watch them. I just I ended up watching this one because it was on the topic list, but mm. it was it was pretty heavy. I mean, going off a roof, that's that's crazy. I don't do that. So <laughs> I wonder I, I stay away from roofs. <laughs> I wonder, like, the, the Instagram account, how, like, the percentage of skateboarders that follow that, or if it's just, like, random people that think it's, like, entertaining. Oh, like the people that I used like to... A, I, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I know there's for sure skateboarders that, like, are down to watch it, but I also feel like there's probably a decent amount that are, like, what me and Nick are saying, like, do not want to watch people get smoked like that. Or even Reef kind of said that, too. Yeah. But, I don't know. It's not really. Do you remember that show Scarred that used to be on MTV? Dude, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh god! I feel like it's it those type so of people. Weird. Yeah, no, dude. I remember seeing somebody do like a like a three sixty or something off of like a bump, and the board like smacked them in the mouth. I was like, I'm never trying that trick ever. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Damn. laughs> I know skateboards can mess up your teeth, and then you just pop them right in. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I hear you. I hear. Him. Uh. Weekend state collaboration. Uh, I like sick. the sick. Uh, oh yeah. Sick. Oh, Nick said sick first, so Nick gets to speak first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I thought it was funny. I mean, obviously, anything from weekend's gonna be fucking funny. Mm-hmm. Um, they were uh, they were like, oh, we got that footage of us bombing the hill, and they're like, oh, we'll show the durability of the heel because they. <laughs> that was my down. favorite part. <laughs> That shit was great. Uh, but yeah, go go support um, indie shoe companies. They're few and far between. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my favorite part was when uh, uh, Grant, not Grant Fiero, but Grant at Weekend said, Oh, uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just enhancing the footage. Then they just kept zooming in, enhance, 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 enhance. And then they <laughs> they tried to make it seem like it enhanced so much that that somehow that the editing made the camera hit the foot. But it's it's not what happened. You obviously filmed it. But that was my favorite part. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I back it. Uh, you know, State Footwear isn't that the one that Jamie Thomas rides for? No, that's Stray. Stray. Oh, too many. Yeah. Too many. No. Okay. Stray State. Jimmy Cow's on State though. Yeah. Oh, really? That's gets sick. By them. That is yeah, sick. Awesome. Uh, any yeah. other notable names, Grant? You could throw at me. Christian Maloof. Yeah, well, yeah, Chris Maloof in the ad. <laughs> He's on state. <laughs> I don't really know who else. Uh, I think that dude, Ben Gore, is like in San yep. Francisco. Ben Gore. Dude, he's pretty sick. Uh, John yeah. Nguyen, I think, is on there, mm-hmm. too. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's a sick company. I thought that ad was cool. I just think it's tight that, like, no matter what weekend comes up with, like, some creative way to <laughs> do any sort of video project, like, it's never going to be just, like, a normal ad. They find their own way to do it, which is sick. I hate to do this in the middle of the podcast, but Grant, can you can you hear the mic? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're okay. good. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Testing we, real quick. We, yeah, we usually do a test. I was like, oh, I'm 15 minutes in this bitch. I better get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle yeah, Stone's good. Horseman Park. Who who does this remind you of? No, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> who does it remind you of, Drew? Uh, fucking Tanner Lawler for some reason. Nah, I knew you were gonna say oh, that. I can. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bit. be honest. I went through this topic list and I see it's on the list now, but somehow I this, I, this is the only thing I didn't watch. Well, other than the broken arm, but I purposely didn't watch that. I don't know. Part. Kyle Stone is. Yeah, I guess I guess Grant doesn't like good skateboarding. I guess we could just move <laughs> on. Down. 
No, no, no. You sounded kind of hyped about it. Uh, oh, I, he, well, he's he, he reminds me of Tanner. I mean, I mean, I'd like to get your thoughts on it, but uh, the way they skate. Uh, a little bit on, on how they skate. He's definitely a, he's definitely a guy that likes to grind and slide, but uh, mm-hmm. he he got a little buck. You know he you know, yeah, he, he jumped down some shit. He jumped down some stuff. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. So maybe I mean maybe you can get a maybe you could watch it now then we'll talk about it later but uh yeah Kyle Stone never heard of the guy I don't know why he wants to be a horseman but he could ride it till the cows come <laughs> home It's a good oh, part yeah. Uh you got you want anything you want to add to that or you just want to you would just want to talk about Spitfire keeping the fire burning premiere that it was launched yesterday uh, I just I'm watching it right now actually and kick flipped under the that uh little dumpster type thing that was tight like kicking from wall right kind of mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but yeah this sick. dude's sick. I've never seen him, but he's a cool style. Oh, you never heard of him either? No, I haven't. Okay. Yeah. He does yeah, a really good know. pop shove over a handrail. We were just yeah. talking about pop shoves yesterday. We were. It's a good trick. I, you know who's uh, got to, like my favorite pop shove? It's probably a lot of people's favorite pop shove, but Nikel, the way he like over rotates it, it's like almost a big spin. I mean, not a whole big spin, but like a little bit over, you know, and turns it back. Like a shift. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks sick. I like a duffel pop shove. He puts them in the 50 50 oh, sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But even when he doesn't put it on the truck, it just still looks sick. The one into that ditch? That was the most. Yeah. Yeah, the one in oh, Cal- yeah. Kalamazoo like Abyss. Yeah. Is that, isn't that one? Or was it in a. Uh, oh, you know I thought what? it was. Oh, no, no. You're talking about that video editor that just came out, right? That part? No, no, no. He. um. I thought it was in like a newer. It wasn't cloud. Of, it wasn't. Uh, I thought it was Osiris. Feed the need. Oh man, uh, was only, that it? It probably that was. Newer than it probably was. Pits. I remember he. <laughs> he's hitting up. I don't know why. I always remember he's hitting up two stair sets where he, he like he always off one. And he does this nasty backside flip, and he doesn't do backside flips a lot. He's yeah. kind of. He's kind of a. Uh, I hate to say this about him, but. You can tell, like, he has his limited... Everyone has their limited trick set, you know? But his are, like, really, really limited. But he just takes them down, like, really cool shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's got style. I like Corey yeah, Duffel's style. It, it, it's it, all that, in the pants, man. It, it's all in yeah. the... <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. The skinnies. It's not a lot of room in there, but... Hey, I rocked the skinnies for a minute. <laughs> Did you go to Pop Goodwill shop? and buy girl pants when... Mm-mm. Not, not no, girl no, pants, not. but... No, I don't wear girl <laughs> pants. No. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I did not. Skinny Levi's. I did not. I was one of those guys talking mad shit. Well, I had my baggy pants that were covering over my shoes, and I said, "Your shit's whack." <laughs> when I look like but Corey Duffel's tight. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but Corey Duffel's tight. Hell yeah. But I was making fun of them that they stole their sister's pants, and I was talking mad shit. That's funny. I'll never forget my friend. Uh, Oh, I forgot who it was. And then it was my friend David who was talking crap to Jose Nova and said, How you gonna how does your girl get your pants off? He's like, Oh, you just butter them up. It was dumb. <laughs> it was fun to me though. <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk about Ooh, you know, let's get some random topics in here. Grant. So let's talk about uh just a random discussion uh, about barge and seshes. You know, when you know there's like a notable pro or an amateur that's filming and uh, you you happen to be uh you happen to be at the same spot. Are you are you gonna barge it or are you what are you doing? Yeah, like if I show up and they're trying to film some, mm, you don't have to show up and film something. I mean, you just happen to you know you call me Nick and Reef up and we just say, all right, you're gonna meet us at this spot and we're gonna get the oh, I got the sick ass trick. You're gonna film it, Drew. Nick, he's gonna interview me while I'm film while I'm in midair, and Reef's gonna be there for moral support with the microphone. And so, uh, but 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 you see see um. You see Ryan Gallant there, and he's trying a hard flip no slide on this ledge that you're trying to skate. Are you barging it? What I was trying to clarify is, is is the pro or amp, like, are they trying to film a trick, or they're just skating? They're skating. I'll I'll skate it with them, probably, but if they're trying to film, I'm not going to, I'll let them get their trick first. Ah, I don't want to interrupt. Ah, but here's the curveball, though. Here's the curveball. (laughs) <laughs> what? he was warming up and and ty evans is on his way there now if he's if the filmer isn't there then i wouldn't know that he's on his way so i'll probably start skating with him and then if the filmer shows up and it seems like they're getting serious then i'll let him do their thing but you're inches away from getting your trick though 
<laughs> Dude, I don't know. I'd have to feel it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm I feel like no matter what I'm going to say, shit. there's I'm talking shit. That. I know. I'm just That's trying funny. to set you up for failure. I'm sorry. Was that a bad <laughs> discussion? Was that a bad discussion? No, 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 cool. no that happened to me not too long ago, actually. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. yeah um, Lay Gabe out the story. was up here. Oh, okay. And uh, shout out Pretzel Vision. And, uh, and we went to Lincoln High School, which is like famous Portland ledge spot. And uh, Tyler Bledsoe was there. And he was filming like this gnarly ass tech ledge trick. And I was like, well, I did want to skate these ledges, but now I'm just going to go see what's in the back of this school. Much <laughs> respect. Yeah. And you know what's is in the back? The sc- go ahead. I, I know there's the ledges that are like, I think, white and red on asphalt. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Is that the same one that has like the the, the crazy U ledge that he like back tailed? Yeah, that's their same school. Yeah. Okay. It was crazy. I didn't see it in his quasi part though, so I don't know if he landed it or not. <laughs> I, I won't blow it up though. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it low key. Yeah. And I suck at ledges, so I, that's why I was like really trying not to get in there. <laughs> Cook it up. I'm barging that shit. I drove all the way over there. I'm going in. <laughs> you're not. You're not gonna let them get their trick. No, Paul, I'm sorry. I gotta get my fucking Willie grind. <laughs> I like how go straight to Paul. Like you're gonna go. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just showing you two things. One, the respect for Paul will never go away. And two, even my favorite pro skateboarder is not subject to me being bitch made, wasting ten gallons of gas to get over there. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting my Damn. fucking Willie grind, either he likes it or not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh man! What if it's like down the street, like you skated to the spot? You gonna sit down? I mean, I'm gonna get an autograph first. I'm not a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Can you get a photo of Paul real quick. <laughs> hey, hey mid ledge. Hey Paul, hold on a second. <laughs> uh, right. So history was made. Uh, Mitchie Bruso. Did the 1260 at X Games? Uh, how many how many circles is that? Is that three? Fucking twenty. Three and a half, three and a half circles. He outdid Tony by one whole round, one whole 360. <laughs> uh, yep. I can't believe this shit happened. Was it done on a mega ramp? Is that how it was done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it only makes sense that it's done on a mega ramp. You know, Tom Shaw <laughs> really laid the foundation of that. Congrats, Tom Shar. But what do you guys think about the? I mean, are you guys hyped on it? Are you are you are you hating on it? Are we getting ridiculous? Are we just spending like ballerinas in the air, acting like we don't care? No, it like sounds it. like fake when you say someone did a twelve sixty. Like that sounds nuts. Um, but I, I'm not gonna hate on it at all. That that's so gnarly. But yeah. it was. I mean, I saw it. and I was like, dang, that was sick. <laughs> no, 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 gnarly. Like, congrats to that dude. But I don't know. I don't watch people skate mega ramps very often, so <laughs> I didn't like watch it multiple times. I honestly thought that this already happened. <laughs> Get the fuck <laughs> out of here! Oh, I know you <laughs> like, really? How do you know, dude. Like, I don't watch X Games Mega Big yeah. Air. Like, I thought like some twelve-year-old did this like eight years ago. I had no idea. <laughs> I was like, oh, tight. That was the ten. Who does that dude ride for? I don't know. Oh, uh, Mitchie Bruso. I just know he's on Rockstar. That's all that makes sense. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Yeah. He said, I saw, I did go to his Insta. He said he gained 30,000 followers overnight. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, damn. That's pretty sick. Gnarly. Isn't that gnarly? <laughs> I bet he got a lot. Well, I mean, I know Tony Hawk posted it. I bet there was people Dude. that the last skateboarding trick they saw was probably Tony's 900. <laughs> and then they were all like, <laughs> Dude, Yo Play's <laughs> about to hit him up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought boats. it was pretty rad. I, I mean, I, if you look, yeah, if you look at the footage, if you look at the footage of Tony doing his 900, he like barely makes it around, and you could tell that I don't know, he barely made this one around, and he obviously had to do it all in the mega ramp to make it happen. I feel like because I think he in his uh, vert run he did a 900 in his vert run, which is pretty crazy. He can just throw that out now, Mitchy, but uh, he definitely worked for this, and it I don't know, I'm stoked for him. 1260, that's pretty heavy it's pretty gnarly you guys ever hear mitchy bruso before this yeah yeah Yeah. okay good i i didn't didn't win did he i don't (laughs) that'd be that'd be some bullshit if he didn't win (laughs) no i'm pretty sure he did it yeah what the fuck what i didn't watch it i just watched how how does he get (laughs) 
I looked it up. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I yeah, get it. Won. No, I'm, I'm not asking you how do you know. I'm saying how did he get second? Uh, Elliot Sloan got first, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. What did he do, a kickflip 180? What the fuck is this? <laughs> he just did a really good 900. <laughs> that's uh, a kickflip oh, that's a kickflip. No, th- does anyone really know how he won? I no. have no clue. I just knew that Mitchie didn't win. That's, that's funny. Crazy. That's I funny. wonder how he felt. Like I'm sure he was like maybe he was salty. Shut you the know, hell up. He was I salty. Was so hyped. No, I'm sure he was super hyped on the 1260 that he landed it. But was there like a little bit of bum? Like, oh, I didn't win. <laughs> no, <laughs> that, that's probably like a weird. Yeah, he's you know? mad. He said, "What the fuck? Tony Hawk did a 900, and everyone's <laughs> on him." He had 900 films. Even... He had yeah. bagel bites. He had McDonald's. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he got second in Burr. This guy too. gets a gold. He gets a silver medal and says, thanks. We'll see you next year. Because I watched that one. Uh, what a kick in the nuts. It is. It's so true. <laughs> That's crazy. It's, I mean, I, I, I kind of want to see what, what Elliot did to win. You but. see, that was because I have discussion in my notes. So I was going to ask, do you guys think that this is going to make him catapult like Tony did? Not, Bruce not Scott for that skater. Extent. Yeah. Yeah, that, I agree with Grant. Not to the extent of Tony, uh, Tony Hawk's. That was because no. everyone was already not everyone, but a lot of a lot of verse skaters were doing 720s. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not saying Mitchie's not special, but there are people that do 900s. And was it was Tom Shaw the guy that did 1080 or was yeah, it Mitchie? I think so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, there are people doing these spins, full spin, whatever the 1080s and the 900s. Like it's not like it's nothing, but it they can do it. And uh, I don't know. The 900 was pretty impactful compared to this to, to me. I don't think anything could like remake what like Tony's. Nine, I mean, I would, it wasn't even around for it, but like, there's not. I don't think there's another what? trick that would have that. Yeah, he's that, that young. It's you crazy. Damn. When, when did he do it? 99. 99. Yeah, it was one. <laughs> That's so oh crazy. God. It's crazy. I know. <laughs> That's so He was up. one years old. Dude. Actually, it could have still been zero. Nice, Depends what month it was in. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been nine months. <laughs> I like how you said that. Great. I could still be zero. <laughs> I always thought it'd be funny. Like when you have a kid, instead of telling someone they're like eight months, you just say they're zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Killing it. Dude, I hope that in the Olympics, they just have a big quarter pipe and they have a contest to see how many spins people could do. <laughs> spin off, dude. Whoever does spin the off. most spins gets gold. So, Mitchie wins. Uh, um, hey, I think it's also funny. Tony didn't post anything about it. I he thought did. Tony posted it. No. Did Are he? You sure? Are you sure? Are um, you sure is the question. No, but I'm, I'm kind of positive. <laughs> I thought he did. I just, I'll check though. I'm interested now. No, I'm pretty... I feel like Tony would post something. That was like the that. first shit I looked at. Yeah, he posted it. Did he? Yeah, he Which one? Congrats to Mitch oh. Brusco on oh, the first I ever post six. Oh, I messed up. Speechless. All right, that's fine. Because it, uh, it's, it's not showing him in the air. That's probably why. That's why. It's showing him do the Dude, he's done so fast. That's <laughs> what if Tony <laughs> just posted, Congratulations, Elliot Sloan on Big Air Gold? <laughs> 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 but, but with Mitchie's, with, with Mitchie's video, that would be so funny. Oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm gonna do that now. Random, <laughs> random. But I, I met Mitch Bruso one time, uh, and the circumstances were weird. I, uh, I went skating with Little Wayne with Mitch Bruso. It, it's Brusco, I think. Just Brusco, skating. sorry. Mm-hmm. You know, I he gave me his phone number, and I never called it. I should call. Wait, how, why was Mitch Brusco on the Little Wayne session? Yeah, I, you, hey. I'm just as confused as you. <laughs> I didn't even know. Boy. I didn't even that's know crazy, him. It's a crazy life. Holy crap! You ended up on the Wayne session because of Shuriken, though, right? No. Uh, well, kind of. Oh, no. It was kind of Wayne. It was um, I forgot his name. I think his name was Daniel Medina. I think his name. I think so. No relation to Michael Medina. Uh, let's see what else we got here popping up. Oh, so uh, as I mentioned kind of briefly earlier, Spitfire's Keep the Fire Burning premiere was yesterday. Are you are you getting hyped on that one, Grant? They got your boy Ashad there. I'm ready for it, dude. That lineup, dude. Ashad, yeah. Louis Lopez, is e- Evan KD. Smith, Evan Smith, uh, is it a full length? Peter All-Star Hewitt, lineup? Frank Gerwer. He, I mean, I want to see him. Gerwer's always got sick stuff. I want to see. Some I love watching Gerwer. Him. It's a tour video, right? Yeah, it was. I think oh, it was God. like a Northwest. 
They had the uh, premiere up here. I missed it. I was just coming back from Seattle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think they did it at uh, Cat's Paw, right? Mickey Ray's? Yes. Yeah. Um, I think it was at Thunderbird, but yeah, they're both. Oh, both. okay. Yeah, yeah. Sick. I didn't go because if you ever, if you're a grown man and you ever want to feel like you're fucking nobody, just go to a room full of pro skateboarders. And <laughs> you'll find out real quick that nobody cares about you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't be all sad. <laughs> no, uh, I'm I'm depressed now. I mean, I don't know how to be. No, but I think it's sick they're doing a premiere, even though it's like just gonna go online. You know, like I think That'd kids don't aren't gonna get that nowadays. Like the feeling of going to a premiere and like seeing your favorite pros and stuff is kind of dying out because everything just goes online right away. Yep. I was talking about that or thinking about that. I guess last night. Um... It was, a, it was just like a small online edit. I put on the topic list, Spanish Mike film, like a VX edit for Diamond. And um, they did a little premiere for that last night. And it was nothing big. It was just at like their little store. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think anything like that is cool just to bring people together instead of it just dropping online and not really having anything. So, and I mean, especially the Spitfire one, like they did it at that Thunderbird place up there. And then um, yesterday's was at uh, 510 Skate Shop in Berkeley. So doing stuff like that at skate shops is always tight too. Yeah. Cool way to yeah. bring people together. It is cool. Looks like they had a five ten skate shop in Berkeley to premiere. <laughs> oh man, they got they got Kevin Bradley on the lineup too. Dude, KB, uh, we were talking about him last week. Oh, oh man, one of the best to watch. Like I think. And Silas Baxter Neal. Yeah. Silas is damn. Sick. Fuck. They talk about so. um, in the Thrasher, it like the actual magazine that just came out. They did an article on the Spitfire tour, talked about how Kevin Bradley like like took some sort of hallucinogen hallucinogens and like tripped out on a Grimple Sticks banner or something and like <laughs> ran, ran away sense. from their campsite and like got arrested or something. Jeez. It was wild. Dude. I might have to see his footage. I think that was like the last time he was in America. Every time he goes to Europe, he just ends up there for <laughs> months. <laughs> for real. It happens really? every time. He'll just be like, he'll post on his story like, I'm not coming back. <laughs> like he posted the other day. I mean, not that this is something to laugh about, but there was like some shootings this week and he posted and he was like, America's crazy. Like I'm staying here. And he'll always be posting like that. Oh, and he'll yeah. just chill out there for months. Really? Interesting. Where's he from? Just go to Barcelona. What? Where's he from? I mean, he's LA. from LA. Yeah. yeah. I grew up in LA. Tony Hawk's Battle Commander, the run uncut edit came out. I'll be honest with you. Uh, if you uh, you didn't miss anything, which you pretty much saw <laughs> yeah. on the edit, it's the same thing just without music. You saw the same exact shit, except Chase saying the occasional woo, which I, look, I'm, not, I'm not trying to hate. I'm really not trying to hate. But when he was like woo, he just seemed ungenuine. Like he was, he, you did not give a fuck that he did a tray flip on the pyramid. <laughs> but look, maybe, maybe it's just because he's so desensitized from like. I mean, he's had the heaviest headed skateboarders. He had Alex Ramirez, he had P Rod, he had Reynolds Jeff Rowley, Reynolds. You see Birdman doing a tray flip on flat. You don't give a fuck. He was stoked on the board slide down the ten, though. You could tell. At the end. I mean, that's pretty crazy for a fifty-one year old to go down that ten. Uh, I think. I, Man, I if it, were, if it were me, I'd be throwing shit at the bird man. And says, get the fuck out of here! You didn't land that shit right now. Get the fuck! I'd be trying. I I'd be trying to get fight Tony. Cow, I was like, get your ass over here! Cuck off! <laughs> Dude, that's gnarly to think about though. Fifty one, doing mm. a board slide on a ten rail. I like the four block too. That's oh, the yeah, impact I for I like the four block yeah. is the most surprising that thing to tall. me. That thing's like a twelve snare. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's crazy. That thing's tall. Oh, there was 10. one thing. When he does the impossible, it went into dark stall. Oh, that was I. I watched like two minutes of it. I yeah. thought the oh, impossible yeah. front rock is insane. That's, that trick is yeah. so crazy. He, he should have tried to pull that one off. He was like, "Oh, she, you know, you, when you accidentally <laughs> when you yeah. accidentally lock into some bullshit like a primo slide, and you're like, oh, I don't want nothing to do with that. You should just stay on that bitch.' <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like in fully flared when he kick flips out of that Smith and fucking primo slides. Yeah. Oh, Lucas, just uh, fucking yeah. hang on. Yeah. 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 Hey, did you guys see that Chase did a Chase did a vlog for the barracks? It's called Chase. I saw there was something for the X Games, but I didn't watch it. Yeah. Uh, 
He's not the vlogging type. I, I want to get you guys' thoughts. <laughs> you guys, yeah, should, really, you today, guys right. should really watch it because he <laughs> they need to just hire an old boy again. Uh, what's his name? The Flamingo Donovan. Flip Donovan. Yeah, get him back See, on there. He's been doing a bunch of stuff Dude, with them. He, again. Yeah. he did one he with did Tony Hawk. Yeah, that was yeah, the best. So good. He, was he good made him so sign Tony Hawk 2 on the fucking boards. <laughs> yeah. That was the best. But, yeah, he taught him how to big flip. That was tight. That was it tight. Was. That was super tight. All right. Uh, Grant, you got anything you want to wanna lay down for us? You want to talk about? I'm going to talk about SIBO. Uh, no, oh. no. I get the fuck out. We ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. Slow That's it. the ender? Slow right. it down. Slow right. it down. Slow it down. Let me look at my list. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, I got cool. one. Oh, oh, yeah. What's up, Nick? You got it. So... The did you see the statue they made of Jeff Rowley, Jeff Rowley that they put in front of the Staples Center? Yeah, I, w- I want to go. What? I haven't gone seen it in person. I want to, but I saw the photo. Dude, Where you gotta look it up. Was that? Where's the photo? Fo- yeah, they where's made- the photo? It's Just online. Google Jeff Rowley statue, and okay. like the L.A. Times did article. You can look up the images, but they bronze a statue and put it in front of the Staples Center, and it's like him fifty fifteen, which is so funny because it's like glorifying it but you're still gonna get arrested if you try to skate it i know uh, the security oh on. my god <laughs> you know what's that sick about so that sick I, I mean i saw that i was hyped but even just in general like in front of staples center it's all like athletes like basketball players you know like whatever <laughs> and then that's sick that rallies over there that's tight. i didn't even know rolling. they had other statues <laughs> yeah well Damn, i've just like, skated past it and yeah there's other ones so that, i guess it's been just 20 skate. years or whatever right it's because he did that like in 99, I think. I want to oh, see really? the full statue. I'm only seeing like his knee Just up. <laughs> Google J- Jeff Rowley statue images like on Google. It'll yep. come up. There's when like. Did, when did they, they do this? this? I don't this know. I just about it today. Yeah, yeah they did it this past ago. week because Vans has a uh, a video coming out. They premiered the other night. Rowley has a part in it. Yeah, it's just oh, for Jeff, damn. Pedro Barros, yeah. and Ronnie Sandoval. Yeah. Oh my God! For those of you listening, I'm sure you Googled it faster than by the time I got my lazy ass over here. But <laughs> it is a bronze statue of Roly, and he is fifty fifteen a marble ledge to replicate the convention center hubba. Oh, they even have a little plaque on here for him. I wish they took a better photo Dude. of it. The, the L.A. Times article is so funny. Oh yeah, they're like I don't know if I what, an act, what a fifty fifty is, and they're like, they shines <laughs> down his double axle, metal <laughs> something. It's like ice skating right there, double axle. Yeah. And they cut off the photo so it doesn't even have like the skateboard in it. It's so <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny, dude. That's so sick, though. I guess it was probably Vans that made that happen. So that's tight. Yeah. I hope they leave it there. That'd be sick. I know. I want to go see it. I'm gonna go see it. And take a photo of it. How many yeah. skaters are gonna try to grind the other side of the hub? I, know, I was gonna like, have. I was gonna see if you could do that, Grant. Can you grind the other side? Of what? Of of the actual of Staples hub? No, no the stat- of the fifty fifty marble that he's on the other end of. Oh, I thought it was Drop small. In. though. it's it big enough tall. to like. Oh really? <laughs> no, dude, well, that'd look, be cool. If someone dropped in on it. Just try to stop rocket. Just try to get yourself Jeff. stuck. <laughs> 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 Sue Vans and Staples. <laughs> <laughs> Did, wait, have any of you guys been to that hubba in person, like just to look at it? It's funny, I haven't. I went, I've never no, been there. No. no, I went. Dude. I went there with uh, when I was at X Games one year. Oh, but yeah. We didn't skate. I didn't have my skateboard or anything. We just went and looked at. We just looked at it across the street, pretty much. It's if you would so, it, though. <laughs> it's so gnarly. It's one of those spots you get to, and you can't <laughs> believe that it's been skated. Yeah, like it is straight, like shoulder high. If like, your life depended I mean, you on it, do you think you get ollie on it? No, <laughs> I would get smoked. I would not make it. Really? It's yeah. so small. What, what if your family's life was dependent on it? You're still. They're, they're... <laughs> I mean, I try, but I'm not. You gonna try it? I don't think I get up there, dude. I mean, that's why when people that skate it. Obviously, they go real fast, gap out, so it's a little lower. But well, you have that to thing gap is out, so huh? nice. Yeah, you're not gonna lock in at the top. It's seriously like to my shoulder. Oh yeah, fuck that. Yeah, my family's good too. <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah that, people. That's you, people just go super fast and gap out. Oh, Which I mean, it, that makes it more understanding. But you're so committed doing that, like that's gnarly. Yep. Mm. You have to go for it. Anything didn't, on that is insane. Didn't ETN do like a face melters there, and like everybody got smoked or something? 
Yeah, Kirby Taylor was. Kirby. Yeah. yeah, he said he was gonna Smith grind it. He tried it. He like I think he only tried maybe like three or four, and they're all super good. Like grind it to the bottom and just like shot out. And like he had it, and then one of them, it looked just like a normal attempt, but he said all the impact just like blew his heel out, and he couldn't skate. Ah. Yeah. Um, and then Milt Martinez so was supposed to skate it too, but I think he got hurt that day, like before they even got to the spot. He said he wanted to try nose blood. Who else has skated oh. it? Clive. Jaws? Oh, Jaws oh, did Jaws skate, skate it. What did set. Jaws do again? Oh, yeah, he skated oh, the he, set. That's right. On Melon, right? Down the set or something? Didn't he do it over a twerker or something? Yeah, on King of the Road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, really. Shoot. Uh, I think blind Zach Doling, it was someone on blind, did no side and all flip. Uh, this kid, Rene Serrano, did 180 nose grind. Damn. <laughs> uh, this kid, Rene <laughs> Serrano. Clive Dixon crooked it. Yeah, crook. Uh, crook? I would yeah. say that's the earliest trick. Yeah. That's like most committed front truck. Like you're. <laughs> that's gnarly. Nolly Flip Manny. Crazy. Yeah, Nolly Flip Manny now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was. <laughs> too. Pretty Would you do a Manny stuff. trick into it, Grant? If, if it was life dependent and I had to like drop in or something, sure. But Impossible I don't think Manny. I could only onto it. Impossible Manny. It, it wouldn't happen, but I guess <laughs> if I had to, I'd try it. <laughs> but it, all, all, you know what I thought about the first time I looked at it? I, it? I thought about it like that. Like, even if someone dropped it on this, like that, you're pretty insane. Like you'd be going so fast, and it drops off tall. Like that's so crazy. You'll skate it like a hobo. Drew, how much to drop in on that for you? I mean, Drew. if you if you got a if you got a healthy five dollar bill, I'd be I'd be getting it. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's All right, dope. you better, you better you. tell work you're not going to be there for a while. <laughs> that's why I'm on vacation. <laughs> I'll sponsor that trip. Shield the smack. <laughs> You're coming to LA on Friday, right? Uh, it's down the street. We'll go over there. Uh, well, yeah, I've been feeling a little sick lately, so we'll see. How <laughs> you got Three to into it. it. You, you got it. I, I had some bad fish tacos. <laughs> Let's get back That's to the topics good. over here. Kyle Camarillo's head count video. Uh, I don't remember it. Is so it? sick. What? So how did you not remember? So sick. Yeah, I don't know how the beginning was the best was the video of the week. Uh, yeah, like, that uh, was... I see. I thought Jorge oh, yeah. had the sickest video of the week until uh until old. Well, you don't. Okay. Oh, uh, all right. Well, go ahead. <laughs> we'll read. No, I mean, no, no, no. He, Grant, that... go ahead. You're talking so much like I'm crazy. What? What? Sell me on it, dude. Just the cinematography was amazing, and they started out with this dope ass party line with like everybody gets a trick, which you used to see more back in the day. You don't really see that anymore. And then uh, fucking Gabriel Summers is killing it. Shin, um, I think he oh, rides. Oh no, for I Hitler. remember that. Yeah, they're over there in Shanghai, right? Yeah, it just looks so good. Like, okay. The way they filmed it, it's, super it's really good. Yeah. yeah, I remember it now. Nose blunt the bank while Gabriel like all he's into it. So oh. sick. I was tripping. Uh, he he wallied off like over that barrier to bag nose blunt on the ledge. It was so tight. And oh. Shin, like, pole jam. That, it was like a bank, which was with a straight pole, and, like, wallied off it basically into 50 on the ledge. was tight. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But definitely my number one favorite trick in there. I don't remember who did it, but it was that Manny pad with the little hole. Dude. Was, oh, oh, I remember that. Up, that was that was so quick. Yeah, Dude, that, that, that was so tight. Crazy. That, that was, was so sick. I remember that. That would be so hard. Yeah. yeah, that. Hey, how I many times you see... think? How many times you think he got stuck in the house? Like, God damn it! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. I wouldn't be surprised if that was like it took hours to get that. Yeah, I agree. Oh, and there's this clip of the guard kicking him out, and he has his translator on the phone, and it's like the automated voice is like, "Skateboarding is not allowed here." Oh, that was. Yeah, fun. I thought that was tight. Yeah. They can't even kick him out because they don't speak. <laughs> Hey, I wonder how we kept talking so back to him. He was like, he'd go back in Japanese. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I was a big fan of that. Oh, yeah. yeah that was, was a great video. Yeah. And, you, uh, you know what? Uh, I saw the. Uh, back. No, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you could be rude. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. You know that happens on here. I'm, not no, I'm teasing. You. Go ahead. I'm teasing. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Uh, I was just going to say a random fact. When that came out, it was titled Adidas's. Uh, head count and then they changed it Dude, Kyle Camarillo like filmed it they had his name at the end but it was like Adidas's video and then they switched it over to his name which is kind of weird mm. I don't know weird. it is weird well, what what happened maybe Adidas maybe it went over Adidas budget they said no 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 well I mean I don't know yeah, he's the one that did the LRG video right Kyle Team 47 yeah mm. 
Yeah, he's a good cinematographer. What were you gonna say, Drew? Uh, I was gonna say I saw the article for um for that trip, and uh, mm -hmm. at, I think it was the last photo, and I can't say this enough. We all we all realize it. I mean, we all know this, but I think we really take for granted like how it was so rad to see the Japanese and all the different cultures together over there, just really having fun in a in a place that's foreign to to a lot of them were Americans. I I just love it. I just love that they're having fun and they they all share that common bond in skateboarding. So it made me want to call like Mike Peck and and uh, June and just go out there to and you know just have some fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> travel. Did travel. Sick. I I yeah. wanted to replicate that's... that photo. I was like, man, that's tight. Probably, <laughs> probably get Marquise in there, throw in a Grant and a Nick, leave Reed. <laughs> Just I'll stay up here. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, uh, okay, well, you guys are giving me... I remember the head count part. I just... There was so many people, I didn't make notes about it. I was like, I don't know any of these guys. But it was still fun yeah. to see. Uh, but I do remember Jorge, uh, Jorge Simos video part. Portuguese Man of War. You guys saw this. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did. Skates fast. I like it. He's... <laughs> He skates just like David Reyes. I thought it was him. Really? Yeah. <laughs> just, I could see like a style similarity, but yeah. I wouldn't expect David to be that tech. No. Yeah. Like if I saw David doing those ledge tricks, I'd be like, wait, what? I, I, I didn't expect yeah. Jorge to be that tech either. And I, I, line I, was so yeah. sick. I, I thought I thought, I thought pretty well rounded, except with the the absence of Tranny. Very tech. <laughs> He's down to jump down some shit. Uh, I remember in the the, love, the first love video part, it's like I think it's like a six stair to a six stair. Leo does a backside flip to a switch frontside flip. I like this guy skates that same spot where he does a backside big spin to switch backside big spin. Yeah, and he sick. popped he popped yeah. it high on that switch back biggie. I, I was never say that too. I never seen a switch back biggie like that, Grant. That's a rare trick. We're, the other day we were talking about rare tricks. Which mm -hmm. back biggie, you do not see that one that much. And he mm -hmm. snapped yeah, really. it. And he snapped it up there, too. And to go back yeah, to back, just says, I got them both. Don't get it twisted here. They <laughs> <laughs> do you think that Big Spin Tail 540 was on purpose? Yeah, but... <laughs> I don't know. It was like, oh, nah, maybe I'll just keep spinning. Like 270 <laughs> just landed on his wheels and just yeah, kept going. Mitchy Bruce got out of that one. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. crazy. That was, that was good. That was good. Uh, but it's crazy how Switch from Feeble is just a casual trick in parts now, like yeah. down gnarly rails. Mm -hmm. It used to be like Front Feeble's like were like the shit like in every video every kid was doing front feebles now it's like you have to switch front feeble oh i almost Gnarly. forgot i almost forgot hate to interrupt but i didn't want to forget front side tail slide courthouse ledge kick flip out that's what i wrote down that's so gnarly that ledge is so yeah. tall that was crazy yeah. that ledge is so I'm, tall to get so it on too tall and the drop off to be flipping off that's pretty nuts mm -hmm. yeah you, that dude's gnarly. yeah he's gnarly i never heard of him either god bless you he did a, uh, I'm pretty sure it was a crook, nollie inward heel off of a rail, like a like shootout rail. Uh, that and wouldn't like surprise me. The, the, the nollie inward heel like popped out, like it wasn't just like falling off, like how you see yeah. some people do it. I don't know. Well, it's like it's like his ender that that nollie heel yep. about. Like you, he could obviously do any trick he wanted to out of a crooked. What grind. was the no, ender? I think it was it wasn't a crooked grind nollie heel out. Wasn't that it? No, it was grind nollie flip. I thought. Oh, that's what. Yeah, it what could have been Nolan Hill. What down a rail? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of uh, mm -hmm. Elijah's Burrells. He didn't. No, Elijah Burrell oh. didn't know his right. flip too. did possibly the best one ever on that bump through the one in sack. Yeah. So good. Um, that dude on Foundation did a really good one in his real street part. Oh, Cole Wilson. Fucking, yeah, yeah Cole dude, Wilson. that one was really yeah. good too. Good point. Was yeah. it through? Was his through a kink too? Like a like. I a, think so. Yeah. I think he gapped out. Or yeah, I don't know. I can't it was, yeah, it was on I a long rail. He said really gnarly. Yeah, yeah. I had. There's this another was, thing. I, oh yeah, go oh. ahead. Yeah, yeah. You got more to add, please. This guy deserves yeah, just, it. Jorge's the no, man. His first line. I don't know. I really liked it. He does a tray flip up a curb. Maybe just always up and then tray flips. But he tray flips before this 50 50 back 180. And if you see, like, he had so much control with such little time grinding on the on the rail. He like mm -hmm. dips his front truck down, and like scoops out of its i don't know i love i love the style that's what i put yeah the first thing i put was style oh, 
a great style. Style for days. What I was gonna and say is that this was my place. this was the my favorite part of the week. But then Sibo said, fuck you, Andrew Ariano. We're going to make <laughs> <laughs> He absolutely dropped it. Yeah. Sibo Walker's pump on this part. And I didn't even know we had a part in this video. It was such a delight for me to be surprised. And they kept that pumping scene. Now, it's all, all I care about in these video parts is how's the pump going down? Where are they, are they, pumped his water bottle. He pumped his water yeah. bottle. With that his one looks like makeshift. It looked like they made that. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. I kind of did. Like, yeah, we, get, we need to figure this out <laughs> we need to, yeah we must pump the shit. clip before it was kind of weird too the, the, the rat what? and the, the rat in the girl's mouth and they're like what the oh, hell? Yeah. they, oh, they cut to like some guy doing that. a comedy skit and he's like what the hell is going yeah. on here yeah. but he's gonna pump it out or something <laughs> <laughs> dude oh, so good yeah right. amazing dude all, all i gotta this... say is 360 shove to push yes so sick so sick it doesn't even like no, I was going to say that this is a real treat. It's 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 very rare to see nowadays where you have a video part that keeps you on the edge and keeps you guessing and surprised to see not only with his trick selection but his approach. I I said, oh, this is finally finally I get I get a video part where look, I've seen a lot, we all have seen a lot of skateboarding. We I mean, very few times that we say, oh shit, I'm surprised about something. Oh my yeah. god, dude, I can't. Sick. I yeah. I I liked. <laughs> Sibo before this, but now I love him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think he is a really cool mix of like skateboarders are going to respect him, and like a lot of lo a lot of dudes love to watch him skate, mm -hmm. but also being able to have like a fun vibe come across in his video parts, like a three shove where he doesn't even put both feet on and then pushes like in the middle of a line. Like mm -hmm. you're not really going to see people do stuff like that and then do like a crazy ledge trick and then like a nollie heel dark slide on a ledge. Like just like yeah. a really cool mix of, um, and also a mix in the sense that like he'll huck and then he'll get super oh. tech and skate manis and ledges and he skates ranny all the time too like just mm -hmm. really can do it all um like super creative fun to watch dude i always love watching him skate and this part is definitely up there i'm hyped on it yeah yeah mm -hmm. and the switch yeah. heel late shove that's Jeez. another one that was so sick it didn't even looked like it was gonna happen and then that was like a late, late show. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling just because I I know he does that trick and that, mm -hmm. dude, that spot would kind of be good for that. But like he it was like catching this with heels. Is it going to happen? And then he kicked it. <laughs> yeah. That was so tight. No, really. yeah. So it's last crazy. second. No comply like shoves and stuff to Manny. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. so hard. Like yeah. it, he makes it look so easy. But if you just he went does. out and tried that, it would take you for fucking ever. You get yeah. alone doing it, it off it, of like, a stair the set too. Yeah, 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 and then that whole line was the sickest. Seven. I yeah. love the crooked grind to the. Uh, I forgot what he did. He do a, he, I don't know if he did a three show, but I like how he slowed down. And he popped the board in his hand. Caveman board slid the rail. <laughs> that whole line is, yeah, so sick. And that was filmed super <laughs> cool too. Like Shane killed it on the filming yeah. on that one. Like when Sibo was running, he was following him down the little driveway or whatever. <laughs> so yeah. sick, dude. He's got a part coming out in the. Uh, Old friends video too. Walker Ryan's yeah. company. Mm -hmm. So that, that dude's doing work. No, oh, which uh, by the way, Sebo Walker Ryan uh, had a he had a little appearance in there too. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fifty does many null flip. Like a yeah. little gap. Mm -hmm. That was sick. A little gap gap. Yep, yep. <laughs> I feel like this part's gonna be an inspirational video part for skaters that likes that type of skating. Like they're gonna they're gonna reference this one in their book a lot. Yeah, it's, that's a, a good it's part, a heavy right? one. Yeah. Yeah. You see a really cool mix of stuff. Oh, also, two two things I need to say about the last two tricks. Second to last trick, he does his little, like, no comply, <laughs> wrap around his whatever heel thing to switch Manny, and then switch flips off that drop. And that spot, like, that thing drops off really tall. I've never seen anybody flip out of it. That was pretty crazy. Yep. And um, What you guys say about the also, ender, though? I, yeah, well, <laughs> we could say a lot about it. <laughs> I thought it was sick. Other security guards, he's getting kicked out. He's probably kind of nervous, like stressed about the, the whole situation. And he still does his little, like, impossible wrap around his foot thing before he nollie flip man. He's like, I saw him do that. I was like, he's yeah. that relaxed right now. Like, he could just boss. do that. That was so sick. And then nollie flip man, he was, yeah, that's seriously insane. Yeah. That was so tight. Yeah. New way to skate the spot, which is always cool. Mm. So I don't get it. So, like, the, the security guards, like, they stop him, but maybe we had the whole approach the whole time. Like, we just need to get on a high platform and they can't touch us. 
<laughs> I feel like they're like the kid at the cookie jar. They say, I can't fucking reach it. I I can almost get you. No, but all seriousness, when he went for it, the, the police officer, because there's a security guard in white, there's a police officer that mm-hmm. walked away while he tried. He didn't even look at him. He, he did the trick. He walked away from him. I would have might be scary for someone yeah. to see that. You yeah. never know what's going to happen. Uh, no, but he, maybe he didn't just turn away. He walked away. <laughs> maybe we, that like we, flamingo we wraparound is like security guard repellent. And that's she does that. And they're like, fuck this. Oh, I can't touch him. That must have been <laughs> it. It's way too cool for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all got to practice that one. Though. Yeah. Yep. That's like that's repellent like remember going. Darth Maul in in um in a. Uh, and Phantom Menace, where he's flipping that saber, dual saber. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. He that fucked, was a great movie. He, he fucked him up. <laughs> he was like, ah, I gotta go. You know what? That was tight. This is go random. Ahead. Yeah. There was B-roll of him at his wedding. <laughs> I thought that was sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that was dope. Like, that they filmed that at his wedding was so tight. What's... You could tell he was getting filmed, too. He was hyped. Yeah. It looked like. In the like footage. Who, uh, now, yeah. Here's a trivia question for everybody here. <laughs> Name another skateboarder who had a B-roll shot of his wedding. Um, my good friend. Well, it doesn't count. <laughs> my, my, friend, my friend did. My friend had. B-roll Not get the fuck out of here. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm saying. Get the. I mean, I, I, hey, I'm hyped for your friend. Like that's rad, but that's. All not... right, let me think. <laughs> I don't know. Um, toy, mach- toy machine video. That's all you're getting. Ed. Yeah, I was going with Ed too. I don't remember. I guess. I don't know. Nick, who you got? <laughs> Billy Marks. Josh mm. Harmony is the right answer. Josh Harmony. Oh, oh, hell yeah. In what? Good and evil. Okay. That's, That's exactly tight. why I said I was like, what the fuck is this? You think you're Josh Harmony? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. What happened to that dude? Uh I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Erica Yuri's still crying over that breakup. I'm just kidding. Okay. So let's Let's go into the uh, okay, Nick. Let's talk about Shieldless Mag. You're the co-founder. What made you want to start Shieldless Mag? Uh, so me and uh, my buddy Ruben Barrick, we just um, we were talking one day, and I don't know. I got inspired to just do something new and do something different, like that was would take me out of my everyday job. So, you know, deal with a lot of like bullshit at work on whatever job you have. So mm-hmm. I just wanted to like do something to focus on outside of that. And so, uh, talked to Ruben and I was like, yo, let's do a magazine. And we kind of came up with this concept of just like videos that we like to watch where you actually get to like know the skateboarder and kind of see what they do outside of skateboarding. And, um, so our focus is on, creative and entrepreneur entrepreneurial skateboarders who um they're rad people like sh- maybe they shred on the board but then they um do something cool like when they're not skating too and it could be involving skateboarding like go and run a small skateboard brand or something completely different like photography or um, we did a piece on my friend chris hernandez who runs a really rad uh thrifting resale page and just people, good people. And it's just a way to support the homies. And, um, just, I think it's rad that skaters have this drive to do things that they don't have to do. Like you guys don't have to sit around and do a a podcast once a week. Like your lives would probably be easier if you didn't. Right. But you do it because you want to, and you have that drive. And I think that's just embedded in us as skateboarders. And I want to highlight that. Okay. Right on. That's dope. Sick. Yeah, that's really rad. Uh, so the real question is, do you ride your bearing shieldless? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. Hell yeah. I yep. actually always hated quiet bearings. Like when I set up new bearings and I can't hear it's my board, worst. I like, I fucking hate it. So, the, dude, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Sorry to interrupt, but your bearings, <laughs> like not only are the bearings quiet, it makes your whole board sound weird. Like new bearings, your board does not sound right. The whole thing, it like sounds it's soggy. Smooth. Like it just it does not sound good. Okay, cool. Well, well, I mean, I 
I ride with my shields on, but I mean, that's just me. <laughs> Same here, Drew. I do too, Drew. Yeah, I like that protection. You know, I ain't ready. Dude. No, but then dirt goes in your bearings and it can't get out because you got the shields on it. But you're getting more dirt in without the shield. So, I mean, <laughs> you're just letting that thing just flush all over the place. You got to look at it yeah. like a condom, Nick. You know, that when you, when you stick it in, <laughs> you're protected. Oh, Drew. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah, no. no comment. <laughs> <laughs> my, man, Nick, my man goes in raw. Punched. I know you guys just launched the site uh, last week, but how long has it kind of been uh, like in motion? How long have you guys been working on it? Um, so I just got the idea at the beginning of the year. It's been about six months now. Mm. I've had a few. Um, so I, I, I started out like I didn't. I don't know how to use a camera or how to um, or how to edit or like uh, make a website or anything. So I, I taught myself how to do all that stuff first because I um, like you think like, oh, you grow up filming and like you know how to use a camera. But then you get your camera and now you're like, what the fuck is aperture and shutter speed? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, absolutely. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. So um, so I learned how to do that learned how to set up the website. My biggest setback was that I, uh, my hide, my hard drive failed on me completely. Mm. So I was halfway through all these video projects and I had to completely restart. Oh, wow. But, um, but it was a blessing in disguise because they came back way better. So, oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been about six months and then, yeah, we got our Billy Jackson interview, yep. <laughs> which was dope. And Eduardo Sanchez sent over some photos for that. And then Ruben did a piece on his buddy, Brian Phillips, who runs an independent recording studio and is in a band. So, um, yeah, it's been in the works for a minute. but Sick. Do you guys have any plans? Um, like, is it, I know obviously right now it's a website. Do you ever want to do any sort of print things like here and there? Or is, do you think just online? Um, yeah, for now it's just an online magazine. Um, cause I think when people hear magazine, they think of print and, mm -hmm. uh, but it really a magazine is just a collection of ideas and articles in one place. So, um, yeah. I just, it's easier to do it online for now. I would love to do print one day. I kind of like the way Jenkum does it and they kind of just put out like a book once a year. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's really sick. And so I want to do something like that, but you know, you need a lot of photos. So we yeah. got gather up our photographers and get them to not post their shit on Instagram and like, <laughs> you know, create content, but uh, let the content build. Yeah. Ruben's been doing really rad stuff with his film photography. We actually did a video on that, but mm -hmm. yeah, he has a bunch of cool photos we can use. Eduardo is a huge help to us. And then, um, we've got our friend, Steven Levas, which is up in North County and he takes really rad photos too. So I would love to collect that and make something physical for sure. yeah that's rad okay is there anybody Super else that you said that correct if i'm wrong you said that you really like to do pieces on entrepreneurs skateboarders correct yeah okay uh with uh is there anyone that you're really because i don't you've seen mikey Taylor what he's doing is mm -hmm. that someone that you're interested in? like who other one is would you like to get mikey taylor on that magazine like is he someone that you you think of as getting on there uh to be honest no <laughs> okay well is there anyone else <laughs> that you're interested in? You're going with that. yeah um, right now we're we're doing more on like a local level like a lot of our connections are in san diego so we want to really support our homies first and okay. then kind of move into like pro skaters and okay. stuff like that um but right now somebody who i'm currently in contact with that we're going to work with um in the next couple weeks is juan at squeegee prints mm -hmm. Um, so people like that, that have created a business out of nothing and are still ripping skateboarders. Um, like I really want to highlight them. Okay. Um, cool. And then, tried. yeah, hey, he's a good, he's a good guy to get on there. We just had him on the random gold. Yeah. Uh, I listened to that. It was uh, tight. <laughs> yeah. He's a good, he's a good dude. I really like him. Yeah. Um, you guys think you ever do a, a video part, like a shieldless mag video video? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, we're going to be posting Ruben's part from Pretzel Vision 2 um, once that drops. He has, I mean, it's just a fun like homie part. It's not something that he like really worked hard for, but it's just clips that he gathered skating with Gabe Gusson. So uh, we're going to premiere that one. And then um, 
we'll see. Yeah, if anybody to if anybody wants to, you know, any homie wants to a platform to put their part out on, like. We don't have that many followers yet, but <laughs> oh, they're coming! That's awesome. They're they're coming! That's awesome. right, you just keep it going. You keep doing your thing. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it, Drew. Yeah. Um, I don't want to forget, especially since you just mentioned it. But you know, it's in San Diego this weekend. Gabe is premiering that video and doing an art show, mm. um, Pretzel Vision Two. So that's I think in that's the tenth like La Mesa area. Yeah, on the tenth this Saturday in San Diego. Yeah, so. check that out. I had a part in his first video, and that's like the only part that I've ever filmed, and I was really hyped on that. Okay. Awesome. I think I had one more question, but it, it kind of slipped my mind. I think it had to be. Oh yeah, that's right. What would you say is the the, the learning the hardest learning curve to get uh, to run a website that you experienced? Dude, <laughs> WordPress is a yeah. bitch. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, cause I. I guess some people know about coding and stuff, but, mm-hmm. um, I, I really wanted to just have a legit looking website and I think it's good for what it is like my first attempt at it. But, uh, like you think you can just drag and drop and right click and choose a color on something, but it does not work that way. Mm-hmm. You have to go into behind the scenes and try to change a color and then refresh the page 10 times and then see if it updated and stuff. That's the hardest thing that I've had to learn for sure. Yeah, HTML, CSS courses, going to do a lot of, <laughs> going to do a lot of YouTubing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I remember my junkie monkey days. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right? And then you YouTube it and then they're like, this is only for this specific template. And you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> well, that that sucks. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I like to get uh, I like to get your view on things because I you, you know where you're currently at. It, where do you see yourself in the next year? In the next year, I would love to just like to have a bunch of like more videos under our belt and um, a decent sized following and be able to do interviews and talk to people that um, yeah are like really doing something good for their community and or the skateboarding culture for sure. And to confirm, this is like a passion project for all you guys, right? And then you were getting paid. Yeah, exactly. So we're not making any money at the moment. We're, uh, me and Ruben both have full-time jobs. We live in different cities and, uh, we're just doing this all on our own. And, uh, it's just for the love of it, you know, to give something back to skateboarding is, is great. I'm sure you guys know that. And that's the whole reason you're doing the podcast. So, Mm -hmm. um, you get that, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, we do. Really sick. I think yeah, it's time for. for I think it's time for everyone's favorite segment, the Grant's Gram. Cater. It's got to be Cater. I'm gonna pull it up right now because I need to watch it while I talk about it. <laughs> I mean, oh, dude. it could could have been. Could have been somebody else, but I'll let you know. <laughs> what, Paul? It can't be Paul. Yeah, no, no, no. Paul. I didn't say. I didn't it's say. Paul, Paul every week. Could have been Tanner. Uh, dude. Yeah, it could be. Cater, the first, the Nolly Heel caught it so primo, somehow landed it. All the tricks <laughs> in the hip are sick. Head on grind on the rail. That's pretty gnarly, especially considering he's not the tallest yet. It, dude, like, it's just every time you see Cater skate, he's constantly getting better, which is sick. He's always skating. I think that's tight. Um, but, dude, the backsmith front 180 on the table. It, it looks like, like he, six yeah. feet away from the table. He was like, <laughs> yeah. he was like floating. Yeah, they could have. there could have been like a grass gap after that table and he would have <laughs> easily cleared it. That was so sick. Um, it's, I don't know, it's just crazy to see someone. He's young and he's, again, he's not like the tallest dude or something, but he can skate with so much power and strength for being that that small still. Um, and honestly, like thinking about the fact that he's been skating to like a size nine or like eight, seven, five for so long and him like growing, skating that heavy of a board in a few years, like as his legs just keep getting stronger, he's probably gonna have so much pop and be able to do, do anything and skate anything, which is sick. Um, so I don't know. I was hyped on that video this week and hyped on cater and that's, that's just a sodi in the making. He's going to be the best. <laughs> He's so good. He is so fun to watch skate, which is the best part. So yeah, that was tight. Uh, my best friend Marquise, it got his attention. 
uh, he saw Cater Skay and he said, who is this guy? I said, I think that's Cater. He said, <laughs> that dude killed it. <laughs> so it's enough to get my best friend's attention. He doesn't even skate. I think you chose a good choice, Grant. Cater just looks good on a skateboard. Yeah. He looks good. He's fun to watch. He can skate anything, too. Yeah. He, really, he kills it in training. Oh, yeah. That sounds like another episode. We'll catch you guys next week. Later, skaters.